So guys, this is a bit of a different video on my channel today. Basically, I was contacted by NASA and offered the opportunity to ask some questions to an astronaut. His name's Scott Kelly and he's living up on the International Space Station for one year. Check this out. The launch of Soyuz TMA-16M will return three veteran space flyers to the International Space Station, with two of them embarking on the first ever year-long mission to this vehicle. One-year expedition crew member, retired U.S. Navy Captain Scott Kelly, has accumulated 180 days in space during three missions. Kelly piloted Space Shuttle Discovery's service mission to the Hubble Space Telescope in 1999. He served as the commander of the STS-118 mission to the space station, and he spent over five months aboard the International Space Station as an Expedition 25 flight engineer and as Expedition 26 commander. Hi, I'm Louis Cole. I travel the world and make videos for my YouTube channel, Fun for Louis. And in my adventures, I find there's a lot of obstacles I come across. What's been the biggest obstacle of the mission that you're on and how did you overcome it? Well, uh, this is my uh, fourth time in space, my second long duration flight. So I kind of eased into this uh, pretty easily. It kind of felt like I had um, really never left. It's really amazing how your body remembers the environment. Um, I think, though, the biggest obstacle or the biggest challenge will be the, the duration of, of this flight, you know, just being here for so long, never being able to leave, never being able to leave your place of work. So, you know, so far it's been a pretty seamless transition, but, I, you know, I expect as I'm here longer it'll be uh, get more challenging in that regard. Doing what you're doing, staying up on the International Space Station is the biggest adventure I could imagine, and I'm sure it has been for you. But if you could travel to anywhere else in space, any solar system or planet, where would it be? You know, people normally ask, you know, if you could travel to any other place in our solar system, and then I generally say Mars. But the way you pose the question, I think if I could go anywhere, it would probably be to a planet that astronomers and scientists have just uh, determined is most like Earth and uh, you know to see what's really there you know if there are living creatures or, or you know just how that planet is evolved and how similar it really is to our home planet. I've heard that up in space stray cosmic rays can cause you to see flashes of light. Has that ever happened to you and if so what does it look like? You know, the first time I saw those was on my Hubble Space Telescope uh, mission in 1999.